Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, place the Binding of Isaac uh, after birth. That was pretty surprising, what we did on our last run. We, 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 we won with the Lost, that's surprising. I think on this run we deserve to reward ourselves. We'll play as Azazel, which he may still be shitty post nerf, I don't know. 369M F Jet. That sounds like it could be a real product. Um, what we will do, though, is try to get a Mega Satan kill out of this. And the way that we're going to try to make that Mega Satan kill happen is, is very convoluted, but certainly no more convoluted than um, what we did to make the win as the Lost work, right? Uh, and the way that we're going to do this is basically get money, uh, donate as much money as possible to our donation machine, facilitate deals with the Angel as a result of that. Holy... Pro, Fate's Reward and the Crawl Space and enough money to start, uh, you know, kickstart our donation machine train here, I guess. Um, so our first deal with the Devil is guaranteed, but we're going to ignore that. And we're going to get a deal with the Angel afterwards by facilitating it by donating money to our donation machine. I know that sounds ridiculous. Six months ago, it would have been ridiculous, but now that we know how the actual mechanics of the donation machine work, I think it makes a surprising amount of sense. We have no bombs. Can't go to our secret room. Um, what have I done here? I've apparently navigated to a video of my own on YouTube, and then it's asking me if I want to save changes. I will choose not to save these changes. Okay. Just whatever assortment of keys I'm pressing here has caused that problem. Okay. Um, in fact, why don't I just close that tab in the background to begin with? Last thing I want to do is, uh, you know, delete all of my videos accidentally just because I hit the space bar the wrong way. Um, trying to get as much money as possible. What I don't know is whether um, donating now matters or whether it only matters. I thought maybe we could ex ex uh, extinguish those. Or whether it Marshall matters um, if we donate uh, now or later. Like, because we're guaranteed a deal with the devil, I don't know if maybe I'm wasting my my efforts here to start with, but I think it's 12 cents that gives you a uh, a better chance of getting a deal with the angel. Why don't we just deposit that money right now so I don't forget? I think it's a smarter idea for us. Uh, and we'll hopefully get a penny out of this. So this is going to be an unusual run, and they're going to have to be unusual runs, I think, in order to, you know, get to Mega Satan, because the odds of it happening are not... Uh, very good to begin with. We've donated as much money as possible, and unfortunately it didn't work out for us. I'm a little disheartened as a result, but that's okay. Just keep shooting these, trying to get some more cash, and now let's move along to our boss fight. I don't know how uh, God's Flesh is going to work for us with a beam weapon, but I will say Azazel seems stronger uh, than he was in the last patch. Seems like his rate of fire has come up a little bit. I don't know about his damage, but he, he seems like much more viable than he was a couple of days ago. Experimental treatment, unfortunately, uh, has given our beam a little bit of a blue color. That's probably actually the um, the God's Flesh shot there. And we've gotten a little extra speed. No, maybe it actually was our uh, experimental treatment. That's real weird. But I'm excited by it regardless. Got a tinted rock there. Uh, again, no matter what's in our boss fight here, we're going to ignore it. Or not in our boss fight, sorry, our deal with the devil. So we're hoping that it's actually like a Krampus fight. Because we can take a Krampus item without compromising our deal with the devil. This is not the traditional way that one would handle a uh, that one would handle a uh, a run, and that's okay. Because if we can just knock out the Mega Satan kill, that's the last time we'll ever have to worry about it. What I'm hoping is that our beam being blue represents God's flesh always working for us because we picked up experimental treatment. Why that would work, I have no idea. But I would love it if it's actually how it worked. This is a great deal with the devil. But I don't, I don't need it. I don't need your items. I don't need your guppy transformations. I don't need any of that junk. The principal purpose of this run is that Mega Satan play, obviously. But um, if we only manage to do Dark Room or something like that, I consider that extremely positive as well. Um, we, we need to do this stuff. And you know what? If we only manage to actually not even do Dark Room, accidentally do the Cathedral, I'd still be pretty stoked, because this run basically exists for me to decompress from the last um, from the last run I did. And that run was very stressful. I think that's why my brain is like half broken <laughs> as I'm trying to as I'm trying to talk right now. I'm like, oh man. Not only is it really hot in this room, but uh, I uh, 
unfortunately, well not unfortunately, very fortunately had a great run. It was just uh, one that took it out of me, mentally speaking. Surprisingly exhausting to stand still for so long. And we've uh, we've done it, we never have to do that again. Let's do this so we never have to do this again. To be fair, if we literally just did not care about the Mega Satan achievements at all, that wouldn't be a problem. Because we would get Dad's Key on every character. It might take us six months, but eventually we'd get it done. Uh, I like the idea of taking Mom's box here. Phrasing, maybe. Um, we don't need Cursed Skull, but I uh, I think this is an interesting play, and we can maybe get a good trinket. Something like Tapeworm would be awesome, so we could have uh, a super long Azazel Brimstone Beam. And I think that in and of itself warrants the, the pickup. Uh, but yeah, we I'd like to tackle those as soon as possible, so that we can get off of this achievement-focused mindset and just get back to the equilibrium of enjoying Isaac. Not that I'm not enjoying this, but, you know, being task-oriented is great. But I also just love, I love existing in the game, you know? I, I love getting myself out of the rat race. And uh, just sitting back and enjoying a nice picture of Isaac, you know? Get on the porch swing with the one you love and just smoke a big fat Isaac. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, well, I know what it's supposed to mean, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, help. No, we're fine. Doing enough damage. God's Flesh doesn't really seem to be working, but at the same time, every enemy we hit basically dies in one hit, so they might not have too much time to get the shrinking done to begin with. Monster Manuel, we will pick it up, put it back down, and move along, because that's not that valuable. What am I thinking with the Fool? Well, we don't need to do Boss Rush, so if we have the opportunity to teleport out, that's good. We also may just want to teleport out of a Curse Room or something like that later on. But for now, we're trying to facilitate this deal with the devil, however it can happen. We'll ignore, you know, deals with the devil. I'm sorry, facilitate the, the fight against Mega Satan, however it may happen. We'll ignore uh, as many deals with the devil as is necessary to ignore. I'd prefer for that to not be too many. Also, could that trinket, it's my own fault, but could that trinket have been placed in a worse location for me when it comes from a dodging standpoint? It's so annoying. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll we'll have the faded Polaroid. I guess it doesn't matter that much if we constantly swap trinkets. Nice dodge. And we're almost done with the Gertie fight. We're done with the Gertie fight. Okay. Finally. No deal with the angel. Toothpicks is good. You know what? I think we just head down to the next floor. We've already been to our item room. I'm not really super hype about just rushing, but I think that there's value in doing this right now. Uh, this could be our Fool card, Unicorn Stump. Unicorn Stump is great. But I want to see what's in our item room first, because uh, we haven't really picked up a trinket that I would consider that amazing, and we don't need Unicorn Stump right away. So, you know what? I actually feel like Unicorn Stump is a terrible... Oh, we stumped. What? Oh, I know exactly what happened there. God's Flesh worked, but then we uh, stomped on the enemy and it shot us at the, the same time because of uh, its explosion on death. Um, that's unfortunate makes those enemies not very stompable. But, uh, God's Flesh definitely working for us now. Occasionally. That might just be the shots from Fate's Reward that are impacted by it, but still. So this is a trinket that makes, um, spacebar items less likely to show up, as people have told me, which, uh, is, is fairly useful. But I don't think it's gonna reroll Experimental Treat, or not Experimental Treat, but Unicorn Stump and anything. Uh, Super Magnet I think is trash if you can fly. It might be trash. Even if you can't fly, seeing as it affects uh, Ultra Greed in some comical ways. So this floor, you know, if we get a deal with the devil, ignore it. We only need two deals with the angel, as long as we have bombs for them, to actually get our, um, our key piece. So what do I care? If we have to ignore ten deals with the angel, it doesn't matter. Ten deals with the devil, I mean. This is another reason I'd like to finish this achievement as soon as possible, so that we never have to, you know, get my nomenclature confused again. Uh, Black Feather, with darkness comes power. I don't know what this does for us. That's the poop. That is a spacebar item, and I am displeased. That was unfortunate as well. Um, I'll tell you what, let's go to our shop. I would like to buy a Spirit Heart, and there is one for sale. Probably didn't even need to come this way, but that's our secret room almost certainly. So we've learned something about the way that the level looks here. Picked up some keys. Been to our item room, been to our shop. I still don't think Unicorn Stump's the right pickup. 
So we'll uh, we'll stick with Mom's box for now until we can get the trinket of our dreams. We'll wait one more room, obviously. Uh, might as well get the extra penny. Now, most important thing here is just don't die on the angel fight, which is actually plausible. Because I'm not doing so well when it comes to not taking damage. I'm going to blame that firmly on myself and on um, Azazel's low range. Which is why I'm waiting for this tapeworm payout, man. It's going to be so good. It's going to give us basically brimstone, I think. There's our deal with the angel. That's amazing. Let's do this. Our deal with the angel item is holy shot, which is very good. We got a spirit heart. Uh, which we did not pick up, and it scares the shit out of me. Just pick it up, man! Pick up the... There we go. Jeez. Oh, God. Please don't die on this fight. Please don't die on this night. Please don't die on this fight. What am I talking about? Okay, there we go. Nothing. Keep going. A oh, spirit heart might matter here. That's fine. We tried. Um, let's get out of here. The holy shot is good. We got uh, an upgrade. We got to uh, deal with the devil or deal with the angel pr uh, precedent. My brain is fried from that loss fight, man. And we have way more HP than I thought. So I was a little scared, but there was no reason to be as scared as I was scared. So we're already on depths one, three and a half minutes ahead of schedule, which is not necessarily uncommon for Azazel. Still hoping for this. Oh, I definitely should have gotten that extra trinket on the last floor, but. If we just get one amazing one, that's all that matters. Rosary bead could be pretty good, but hoping for a little bit more more value. Oh, God's Flesh is the perfect counter to you. Starting to figure out that this item can actually be awesome in some situations. Mom's Pearl. That's good enough to keep, but I'm really holding out for Tapeworm, man. Hopefully we can get our key complete here. Because if we get our, our uh, dad's key complete here, or our key pieces complete here, then we no longer have to worry um, about ignoring deals with the devil, and we can take an item like Brimstone were it to show up. Second hand, effect, or uh, extended stat time. I don't know if that's good. We've had it a couple times before, or at least once before. But we're gonna be pretty, uh, you know, loosey goosey when it comes to our trinkets because. We got the opportunity to replace them so often. We'll take Blue Baby Soul specifically for this one fight. We're going to go back for uh, our Fool card, by the way, because being able to snag a free item out of Boss Rush might be useful. Let's keep in mind, I'm also going to be trying to go to the Dark Room here. Not going to be trying to go to the Cathedral because we don't need to. Dark Room we have to beat in order to get that achievement. Well, no, in order to get the Post-it note filled out anyway. We already have the achievement like nine months ago. Uh, we got little Steven. I don't mind it because it's it's something that shoots that maybe makes it less likely for us to take damage from enemies rushing us down. It's borderline necessary, I think, to get these spirit arts. I've been hemorrhaging lots of lots of HP that I definitely should not be. It's enough money to get something from our shop. Definitely should not have done that. I knew as I was flying by that that was a terrible decision. Don't care about the goat hoof because we're not going to use it long term. We're not going to use it long term. I don't really care because we're about to get another trinket immediately anyway. It would have saved us from getting hit there. What an interesting uh, conundrum. There's our fool card. Uh, we still haven't seen our item room, so we'll explore for that. We got plenty of time. And we don't even care that much about boss rush. There we go. That's tapeworm. Now we can get rid of our spacebar item because tapeworm is the, the be-all end-all for trinkets. Now we have like a half brimstone laser, which is, is functional. I see the chest. I'll pick it up on my way back through here. Um... Now we don't have to stand immediately next to uh, our enemies, which is going to be really, really advantageous for not taking damage. We'll take BBF. I don't love it as an item, but uh, we can we can use it. I'd like to replace Mom's box now. Can't believe we made it through that without getting hit. Okay, next floor, boss rush. Hopefully a deal with the devil. A deal with the angel, I should say. Get that sorted out, then we can take all the deals with the devil we want. But for now, I'm mostly just super stoked to no longer, uh... To no longer need to stand right next to enemies to kill them. Two keys, two gets. Three chests. Um... I would say probably not worth it, but I'm not salty about it. 
We should keep our keys. You know, with this newfound range, we may actually want to fight Hush. I'd say we probably don't because I don't really want to uh, jeopardize my uh, key pieces that I've already kind of worked for, but I, I may uh, rethink it. But I probably won't, but we'll see. We got fortune cookie. Um, we could teleport out and then get our telepills, but why not fight the room uh, considering we probably have the ability to do so pretty quickly. Even though our brimstone damage is not where I'd like it to be because we've ended up skipping out on so many deals with the devil that were actually good. Um, still, oh man, it's so nice to not have to stand right next to an enemy. I'm still standing way closer than we need to, but that's still really good. It's going to be hard to get that uh, out of my system. All right. Easy. Much easier now. Tapeworm is just like a godsend on this one. Sloth should not be a problem, as long as I can keep him from uh, causing me to get hit by my own BFF. BBF, sorry. Yeah, let's not fight Hush unless we've got like a really, really defensive run. Uh, like we pick up a lot more HP or like a Celtic Cross or something like that. Because I really can't see it being good enough reason to, you know, risk having to go through the hoops that we've jumped through already. It, fighting Mega Satan is awesome, but it's really awesome when you don't have to work for it. Like when you just get Dad's key or deals with the angel appear despite your best efforts. That's the way you want it to be. You don't want to have to, you know, skip out on great stuff to make it happen. Oh, two luck upgrades. That's a big surprise. Oh, okay. It's our deal with the angel. Now we can get deals with the devil from this point on. We have to fight this guy, obviously. But now we can actually stand far away. A decent deal with the Angel. I mean, we didn't get Godhead or Sacred Heart, but... We also, uh... Picked up some HP that we can use. And this is a load off my shoulders, because it means that this Mega Satan run is, like, completely doable now. As long as we're strong enough to beat Mega Satan. Which would really be aided and abetted by some more, uh... You know, deals with the Devil, if we can get them, but... For now, this is excellent. We haven't seen our item room yet on this floor. We should go look for that, because, you know, we've only accomplished the first piece of the puzzle, which is beating uh, the two angels and getting the key pieces. Now we actually need to go through the extra step of, uh, of actually being strong enough to kill Mega Satan. Considering we're Azazel, I don't think we're too far off to begin with, but it's not, uh, it's not a foregone conclusion necessarily yet. No greed, no greed, no greed, okay. Two of clubs, 28 bombs, sure. Uh, the Fool, I guess, is not that good, but... Or not the... Uh, uh, not the Fool, I was thinking Blue Map. Blue Map is okay. There's no item room on this floor? Am I, am I losing my mind? No, it's just because we don't have the map, okay. I got confused, I was like, we should be able to see an item room on this floor if it exists. But we didn't have the map, we only have Blue Map, man. Uh, because our tapeworm trinket allows us to shoot a little longer, the telepathy for dummies, aka like permanent magician card here, is not horrible, but it's still pretty bad. But we don't want any other trinkets. No other trinket could really, uh, except for curved horn, maybe could replace tapeworm for utility on this run. So we might as well take it, but it's not going to be super useful, probably. It also apparently makes our beam much shorter, or maybe it only gets shorter because it doesn't need to extend longer because of my positioning. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe Telepathy for Dummies is actually just a huge range downgrade for some reason in our in our setup here. I don't know why that would be the case, but uh, it's possible, I suppose. Easy. We already had our deal with the Angel. We'll take this because we do still need to do the Dark Room stuff, if I remember correctly. Uh, spider Spawning. Host Hat. Dead Sea Scrolls, Relic. No brainer. Relic is what we take. Um, the host hat, not bad. That was my second uh, choice there. Now we can pop these and see if we get uh, maybe a card worth taking or something. But yeah, host hat was my second uh, my second choice there. All right, next floor, deal with the devil. Let's make this happen. Now we can see where we should be going. I see the second secret room way down here. This means this is probably where we go to get to the boss fight. Not guaranteed, but probably. The uh, HP upgrade there is nice, especially if I can trade it away for a deal with the devil. 
right away. That's bad. That's not a problem at all. We'll blow this guy up for a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. We got a spirit heart. He just exploded out of his body there. We'll go back for that one as well. I was worried that the spirit heart we got from the judgment was actually from Relic, but no, lucky us. Thought maybe we might be able to get the second secret room there. Oh my. Come on. Come on. Stop bumping it. little confusing. I believe that was a tears downgrade, so I'm going to ignore it, and this is not our boss fight. We'll get all the keys, because we may need them. I still think our boss fight is going to be, like, directly up here, though. Yeah. And no tinted rock. Okay. I popped uh, the magician here. I still don't think it even benefits us, but not the magician. Sorry, it's telepathy for dummies. Same basic premise, of course. I really thought it would give us a range upgrade, if anything, but apparently not. Two little bomb explosions there, in quick succession. More spike attacks, please. Yeah, much appreciated. Deal with the devil. Oh, a synth oil and a deal with the angel. For scapular, what do I care? At this point, scapular, uh, it's not bad necessarily, but I really don't want to fight the angel statue again without a D6 anyway. So we'll head down to the next floor and we'll hope to, um, I guess repeat our luck. It would be nice to get another deal with the angel as long as it has an item in it. Scapular is a, it's an improvement over nothing. Let's put it that way. Which sounds like an insult. That sounds like a pretty good insult. Oh, my lady, you, you can just imagine Winston Churchill saying this. It was supposed to be the introduction to that joke instead of just me saying my lady right off the bat. But, you know. If, uh, it was like, we should have, you know, Lord British as our leader. He would be an improvement, Winston. And then Winston Churchill, of course, replies, um, My lady, you would be an improvement as well. An improvement over nothing. It's not really a good insult. I regret going balls deep on that joke. Um, that's all right. We'll 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 recover, and we'll make, uh, we'll make it work in the future. See, this is how committed I am, not to that joke, but to the uh, tapeworm trinket, which is uh, to say that I just got rid of the cancer trinket or at least ignore the cancer trinket for the opportunity to just have our range so increased for the rest of the game here I love it is that a key no it was a spirit heart we don't want to ignore that again this is probably our right direction let's maximize our deal with the devil chances here also you know aids in a bed aids in a bed's my laziness uh, because I can just blow up these things instead of actually taking the time to gamble on them but I think this is the right decision for us More keys, more spirit hearts. Um, we're taking full damage from these hits, so I'm probably like at best breaking even, but... There's no butt that should be at the end of that. I should just stop taking so much dumb damage if possible. Mega Satan's not necessarily going to be a walk in the park. Still don't know what this room does. There's got to be something. Got to be some kind of secret happening there. You know... We pretty much got our uh, our MO set up for this room, and it worked out very nicely. Okie dokie. Let's remember, we're going to Shoal here. We're not going to the Dark Room. We're going to Shoal. Or, no, we're not going to the Cathedral. We're going to Shoal. Pretty soon, I'm, I've been going to Shoal so much that parents are going to start buying their kids razor blades. Razor blades. I wanted to make sure we stopped that guy, just for the humor of it, you know? Hey, we actually got a, a bit of a laser bend there. I didn't think it would be possible. That's a good one. I wonder if we get like double hits for that. Because it kind of like hit him and then ricocheted around again. What? Where did those shots come from? Oh, it was actually, um, there was a minion up there that I didn't see. Alright. I'll accept this. Bad damage. Deal with the angel. Deal with the devil. Deal with the angel. Oh, for the halo. Don't mind if I do. There's something, there's something back there. Freaked me out there. Uh, going down to Shoal. It's been a while since I've made that mistake, so I'm feeling pretty good. Alright, second secret room. Where are you at? Bottom right. We can make that. We can make that. Terrible damage. Terrible damage. Just non-stop terrible damage. Oh my god. Well, luckily this is one of the harder rooms of the Shoal, I hope. 
That was... You'll never know how close you came to complete oblivion there, Dark One. Oh, a little sneaky. We got you on the flip side. Another Spirit Heart. Okay, stack up as many of those as possible, because I would love to just fight Mega Satan as soon as we got down to the Dark Room. Not have to worry about... Um, oh, I can't believe he didn't get hit. Not have to worry about, um, you know, completing the rooms in advance to try to farm Spirit Hearts that may or may not even exist. That was beautiful. Wonder if God's flesh can even shrink uh, Fallen. I would expect not, but it seems like it should be possible if it's a boss fight that's not on a boss room. But maybe that's, I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe that's not the way it's meant to be designed. Just seems logical to me. And wouldn't those bosses look super cute with a little bit of shrinkage going on? The smaller something is, the less likely it is to be threatening. Uh, which means the more likely it is to be cute. It's just science. Even the shrinking process is it's cute in and of itself. This has got to be the right way. Otherwise, like, this is, uh, they're just taunting us. The dead end was, like, far too far away for this to not be the right way. Good Emperor. No, we don't even want an Emperor card. Devil card. Algiz rune. The stars card is worthless. Stay still. We might do like one extra room just to get um, telepathy for dummies ready to go for the Mega Satan fight. I've kind of reversed opinion on it. It still seems like semi viable. That was not the best damage I've ever taken. I'll be the first to admit. But I have taken worse as well. I I stand by my newfound opinion that uh, the second form of Mega or of regular Satan is actually the hardest form. And the, the feet, for whatever reason, appear to have been nerfed or something. They're, like, much easier now than they used to be. There we go. That's good damage. Maybe we just know how to fight them now. I think it's really that they're just not very tanky. That worked out fantastically. Do we have enough HP to beat Mega Satan? I believe so. Uh, now we don't. I'm joking. We probably still do. Uh... Let's head down. We've got seven HP. It's a little touchy. I would love a better space bar item. We're probably not going to get it. But I would love it. Okay, more spirit hearts, a bomb, more bombs. What are the pills? I found pills. You want to do one room? Let's do one room. It's just a ragman fight, which. Now I'm like two rooms, so we can get to that secret room. But we'll see. Bomb. This room we should not have done. Turn back. Abandon all hope you enter here. That's like another I found pills. We're going to be able to go to our secret room though. And we got a card. The Magician. Hilarious. So none of this even had to happen in the first place. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's do this. Our strategy, don't get hit. Okay, this is important. Ab oh wait, after doing this we won't be able to beat the lamb. I probably should have defeated the lamb first, but to be honest with you, um, Mega Satan Dark Room seems like the kind of thing we could accomplish pretty easily anyway. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about it. Although I do realize now that I am the world's largest idiot at the idiot parade, and um, they've they've made me their mascot. So we'll just. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind against Mega Satan. I wouldn't dispute this. What we're gonna do? Oh, great, great damage! Like not great damage that I took, but great damage that they did. I gotta give them some respect for that. Sending your horse to kill itself on my bomb right next to me. Never would have expected it in a million years. Just a classic ESPN style uh, move there. It's gonna be a little close. Much closer than I thought. Largely due to my own idiocy. I'll be the first to, to own it. Loving this uh, surprising range on this homing shot, even though most of the time the range is just god-awful. Okay, this should be one of the enemies we could take out easily. Homing shot or no homing shot. Man, this is weird. <laughs> like, our, the homing shot is so strange, man. It sort of works. 
when it wants to. Sometimes it works real well. Other times it does nothing at all. Nothing at all. Next phase is like our final phase of the first phase. I'm not good with phases. Um, so that's really encouraging because it means that we're getting close to the tail end. And apart from those original, like, pretty terrible bits of damage that we took on the, uh, the horseman waves, we've done pretty good since then. Pretty well, sorry. Forgot how to speak English uh, with the Queen's etiquette. You gotta be dead in, like, one more hit. Really? Oh, two more hits. Pardon me. That was not smart. This wave should not exist. Um, I don't know why this wave exists. This wave is not supposed. This wave does not exist. It, it doesn't exist. It's not supposed to exist. Mega Satan, what are you doing to me here? This wave is not supposed to exist. That was good. We got out of the way. I mean, it's a that attack is a huge kind of lead time ahead of it. It obviously should have telegraphed it, and I shouldn't have been here. But I got hit earlier and was very confused about the operation that allowed that to happen. He's half dead, and we've done, or we've taken half damage, so I I find myself slightly concerned about our overall chances. Can't hit him from back here. That was bad. Should not have rushed in there. At least we only got hit twice. Now, it's going to sound like that's horrible. Oh, God. We're safe. We're safe here. We've got some scars on his face. We can't move out of the way of this one. Okay. This is where we need to stand. This is our life now! Oh my god, I died! I died on the Mega Satan fight. I accomplished nothing. Good day, sir. May God have mercy on your soul. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'm an idiot. Goodbye.